There are fewer than 50 goat dairies here in Louisiana, that according to the LSU Ag Center's Ag Summary. But as this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, one of those serves not only as a goat farm, but as a goat attraction. Come on. For animals famous for being stubborn, goats have another quality which makes it difficult to tell a television story about them. That's okay. Thanks for good shots. Nubian goats are inquisitive. <laughs> Stubbornly inquisitive. Almost to the point of stalking. Well, you've got a new girlfriend, whether you want one or not. Great. But if you're inquisitive enough to want to find out what makes Westmar Farms in Moraville successful, well, it's everything I just pointed out about the Nubian goats. The breed of goat was one that we chose because they have personality. And uh, it may be one of those situations, be careful what you wish for, you may get it. I'm her favorite. Uh, we wanted uh, the breed of goat that are more interactive and that uh, interact with humans more because some breeds of goats can just take you or leave you. They're going to follow me because I'm their mama. West Constantine <laughs> fills that motherly role by feeding these kids three times a day. These modified buckets are filled with artificial milk. That's crucial to the Constantine's goat dairy business, staying in business. Because the babies will drain the mama and she will have, wouldn't have anything to give us. These goats give Westmar Farms about four gallons of milk a day, just enough for Marguerite to make several flavored goat cheeses and have enough left over to serve quarts of what many consider the healthiest milk around. While that may satisfy the hunger in your belly, the Constantines hope these goats make you hungry for knowledge. You can invite people onto your farm and allow them to be able to experience a taste of the agritourism and it reconnects them to where when they go back even though they personally can't get on the tractor and farm the land or raise the chickens and, and, and harvest the eggs, they can still appreciate where their food is coming from. It seems like the Constantines get a lot out of caring for the inquisitive. And Amelia, you want to tell Avery why I wash their udder? So the dirt won't, won't get in the milk. Exactly. You might say it's the visitors to the farm who provide the answer to their questions. A lot of times when farmers get very discouraged and you just want to say, you know, why are we doing this? Why are we working 24-7 in the cold and the wet? You know, there's got to be a better way to do it. Uh, it's, it is, it's, it's very rewarding when you do have people that support you in small ways. That's why the Constantines took extra steps with the USDA to make sure they would always be open for agritourism. We are now officially a roadside zoo in Avalls Parish. A zoo where the animals may be more curious than the people. What? 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 <laughs> Goat kisses? Of course. <laughs> of course. In Avoyles Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. You can buy goat's milk, cheese, and even chocolate truffles at Westmar Farms, and you can buy soap made from goat's milk from their website. You'll find a link on our website, twilatv.org.